Hey everybody, it's Travis here from Travis.media. I have a new review for you today, a new app listed on AppSumo called Plug and Paid. Let's check it out. So before we talk about what Plug and Paid is, let me give you a scenario. So people come to my website and they say, hey, um, hey, this ebook, learn to code and get a job in six months, ebook is just $1.99. I think I'm going to buy it. And so they come down here, they go add to cart, they click on that, it takes them to a cart. All right, and then they come to this cart. Of course, they're not adding a bunch of products or things, they're just buying this one book. They come to this cart and they, they're they like, yeah, I just want one, it's an ebook, and um, no coupons, none of that stuff, so I'm going to proceed to checkout. Then they proceed to checkout, they fill out their information, uh, their payment information, and they go place order. Then they get redirected to a thank you page where they can download the product. So in general, that's four pages. They got the ebook, the cart, the checkout, and then the final download. For a lot of instances, like if you have a big store and you need a bunch of stuff added to a cart, that's a good idea. But if I'm just selling this ebook, wouldn't it be nice if they could just click buy a thing pop up and they fill out the info and that's it, all on the same page? Well, that's what Plug and Paid does and more. Let's take a quick look at it. So Plug and Paid is listed on AppSumo, 49 bucks lifetime deal. It says e-commerce made easy with a mighty shopping cart from Plug and Paid. Basically, you create these plugs. It can be a digital product, a physical product. It can be services like, hey, I got some SEO audits for this much or subscriptions. That's pretty neat. You can do all of that. You create these plugs and you just download the provided HTML and pop it on your site. And there it is. All right, so you can check out their page. It tells you more about it. Uh, you create a plug. From there, you add product descriptions, dimensions. If this is a physical product, you can actually set up the shipping. You can get the rates and all of that other stuff. Um, but you set the, all that up, tracking numbers. And um, uh, for digital downloads, there's automated delivery and support for licenses. Um, there's an automated shipping cost calculator. It's all kind of stuff featured in here. Okay, you can pay with PayPal, Stripe, uh, your credit card, BitPay. Hey, send me some Bitcoin, right? And all this other stuff. Anyway, you can check out the page. There's lots of goodies, but my point in this video is to walk you through me putting my ebook on there and how it looks on the inside. So let's do that. All right, so you first go to your dashboard here. You go over here to create a plug. Let's create your plug. What's the name? Well, it's called Learn to Code. Let's just say Blueprint Ebook. Learn to Code Blueprint Ebook. Next, I decide is this a physical product, a digital product, a service? or a subscription. If it's a subscription, you gotta connect your Stripe account because that's how the subscriptions work. So I'm gonna go to digital product, my product name, uh, learn to code blueprint ebook. The price, I had just $1.99. Quantity, unlimited. Product description, let's just say, uh, learn to code blueprint. Learn to code in six months blueprint. PDF, category ebooks, you can choose other categories, delivery method, direct download, I'm just going to choose that, upload the file, let me upload the PDF. All right, great, so that's done, I have my ebook uploaded, licensing method, I'm going to say none, and click save. So that adds my product, and I have my product listed in inventory. Now let me click select, and we're going to set up the shopping cart. So what payment methods am I going to use? I'm just going to use PayPal Individual. You can set up Stripe, BitPay, or PayPal Merchant. Uh, continue will take me to the cart settings. Whoops. No, it won't. All right, so next I go to cart settings. Here I can choose, um, I can whitelist a country. I got a Facebook pixel ID, custom tax rate, languages, dynamic is good. Custom message, let the buyer Leave the buyer a custom message in your shopping cart's thank you page. I can say, uh, hey, thanks. Do not collect address. Here your shopping cart will not require an, an address for purchases, only name, email, and country field. So that's what I want because I'm selling an ebook. So I'm going to click that. Hey, I got some terms. I can add some terms to it. I'm not going to do that. And next, let me go to cart templates. 
All right, with cart templates, I have the Express Checkout, regular, the Express Checkout version 2, and the e-commerce checkout. So you can actually list your product here. It looks kind of neat. And so I'm going to choose, um, let's choose the version 2. How about that? All right, great. So now I hit continue. And here's my call to action option. So I have a couple of options. I have a link to the cart, so I can select to have a link. I can select a button, or I can select the Learn to Code ebook widget. So I don't have a photo on there. Let me go back and see why that is. All right, so yeah, I, I need to go up here and click Add a Photo. So I want to add a photo of my ebook. So I think that looks better and that works out better with the widget. And here's one thing I found that I kind of don't like at the moment. So I'm going to choose this ebook cover and it, it forces me to crop a certain dimension. So if I want to include the whole thing, I can't because if I try to just move it a little more narrow, it also changes the height. You see that? So I kind of don't like that. Um, maybe I need to, to read up on what the best dimensions are. But anyway, let me just select what I can here, what kind of looks normal. Let me select that much and click Crop. And also it's going to add this white space to the side because I want you know, as much height as I can get there. So it's uploading now. You'll see what I mean. And again, that may be on my side. It may be something they'll fix in the future. But that's what it looks like. So that's my image. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to Select to set up everything. So I have my uh, Express Checkout version 2, my cart settings. Everything is the same. That's good. Everything stayed the same. Payment methods, cart templates. All right, good. So I'm going to click Continue. And, that, and now I have this widget option. So I can select this widget. So if I had a nice shirt or a nice uh, something else that I was selling, this would be a nice option. I don't want this book here because it looks kind of crammed. So I could select that, but I'm going to select the button. So let me click Select. And here you can customize it. So for the background, I'm going to come up here and choose my orange and border color um, I'm gonna make that make that the same orange color alright I don't like the star so I can disable that I can also I'm assuming this is uh, font awesome FA star so you can pick another icon oh there it is oh yeah you can filter here so uh, maybe I can put a uh, book yeah there's a book icon that's even better but I don't want it so I'm gonna disable it that'd be a good option disable that um, button text by now let's say get the ebook presets and hey there's some presets here so I got preset one that's kinda neat uh, preset three is just the words and preset two I'm gonna leave it I think I like that with the the dollar amount on the side so let me fix that background again alright so I have this button here I'm gonna go save And all of a sudden, I get your shopping cart's code. So I can copy this to my website's page wherever, wherever I want this at. It also gives you some installation guides if you're using Shopify, uh, uh, Facebook shopping cart, WordPress, Weebly, Squarespace, and a video tutorial here. So let me just copy that to the clipboard and come over to a sample page I've set up. Here's a sample page of my site. I'm going to paste that in to my Gutenberg HTML block. Let me click Save Draft, and I'll show you what this looks like and how it functions. Now, when I did this first, I did this on a staging site, and it actually redirected me to the uh, plugin paid page to pay, and I didn't like that. I was like, man, I don't want people redirected off of my site. So I didn't like it at first, but then I read immediately after that that, hey, if it's a secure site, which my staging site wasn't, but my site is, if it's SSL, if it's HTTPS, it will actually open up a modal, and there's a setting to change that. I'll show you in a minute. But let me go ahead and preview this. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the button. This is just basic page. Of course, you would want to put an image of your, your ebook and all of that stuff. But here's your button. If I click the button, you can click either side with the style I have. If I click the button, this modal comes up. My screen goes dark, and this simple modal comes up. It's not going to ask me for all of my billing information because it's just an ebook. So here I would just put in my, my name or my company, my email. Uh, country and state. I would choose my payment options and just click next. So let's do that. Uh, Travis, Travis at Travis.media. 
and I am in Virginia. All right, and since I'm using PayPal, I assume that clicking next, um, yeah, so next you get the purchase overview, and that tells you, hey, this is what you're buying, and I'm pretty sure if I click this purchase, it's gonna open up the PayPal payment modal as well. So that's it, look. Uh, for my kind of blog and my kind of services, so if I come over here to resources and ebooks, so when I come to an, an ebook here, so like for instance, these two are paid, the other two are free. These two are paid, so if somebody clicks get the ebook, they're going to go to my landing page for that, then they're going to go to the WooCommerce page, then they're going to go to the cart, and then to the checkout, and then the, the redirect to the thank you page. That's a lot of work. Here they could just click, get the ebook, the thing pop up, they pay for it, boom, they're done. I like it. I'm going to find this very useful. I also will find this useful for services. I offer SEO audit services, so I'll do a full audit of your website and give you a, a very comprehensive report of what I find, and I charge X amount. So, so I can put that on there. Uh, services, this may be good for um, website uh, maintenance plans, like I have website care plans where I host and manage people's sites monthly. That would be a good idea as well. And then, hey, if I started selling stickers or T-shirts or coffee mugs, anything uh, cool like that, um, I could also use it as well. So I'm really liking this, um, and I think it serves a good purpose and is a good buy here on AppSumo. And if you know me, I don't do a lot of AppSumo re reviews. I do the reviews of things that I think are valuable. And I think this is valuable, and I think you'll like it. So hey, go to AppSumo.com and check this out. Uh, scroll down to the bottom, see what all, all they're offering. It's a lifetime access to the supercharge plan for one business. Okay, you got unlimited shopping carts, automated invoices, and customer emails. Um, and you can read all this, 10 gigs of storage. Uh, multi-payment cart you got 29 currencies 20 languages this is a deal uh, wow somebody gave it uh, we got four reviews and it's not looking too good let's look down here and see what yeah here it is all right so there's a guy that uh, doesn't like it this may be a good read as well but anyway I find it useful for my own purposes I'm gonna use it and fix my site up so people don't have to jump all around the place I hope you enjoyed this AppSumo review, and if you did, go ahead and hit subscribe below so you don't miss the next video when it comes up. And be sure to check out the site, Travis.media, and I'll see you on the other side.